everybody. I know this is an unusual way for me to start a video, but I wanted to just explain what's going on. I'm actually here in my office editing a video today. This week's video is completely out of order to the trip that we're in the middle of. You know, we have heading towards Great Ashen Road, I think last time we left you was at Swan Hill. And at the end of that trip, we had always planned to meet at Jugion. I'd had a conversation in January with Glenn Turner, another sig signature owner, about getting together and camping together and inviting all other signature owners. We chose Jugion Showground because it's a donation, you don't have to book. It was fairly loosely structured. So I'm gonna start the video at the night before where we are and then follow through. I also need to apologize because saying hello and organizing a dinner and a, putting up signage and things like that, that I really didn't video and take photographs to the normal standard that I like. I've done my best and I've covered it together so that all of us that were there can have a visual memento of the weekend. And anybody that wasn't there that just wants to have a peep at the power of people and what a brand and customers can do for a weekend, they can have a look too. How's the serenity? Possibly can't see me at the moment because we're driving through the dark. We had a shower, got into bed, thought it would be a nice night and we just got a fire alert that we need to evacuate immediately that there's a bushfire for the area and since we're the only ones in the campfire we've packed up at lightning speed literally haven't we John yeah, yeah. and we're heading out it's dark I don't know where we're gonna go I don't know how bad it is which way to go uh, I think we need to go up that way um, it just beeped and now we're trying to get out problem is we didn't actually take notice of how we come in so now we've got to figure out how to get out I'm not sure if this counts as a campsite or not. We thought when we reached the town that they would say that we could free camp near the information centre or something, but there was nothing. So we had to keep driving and we ended up here. And we're up early because it's super noisy. We're going to keep driving now and see if we can find somewhere for breakfast. Anyway, quite the adventurous night, hey? With the guy urinating out the truck door behind you. Yeah. How's the serenity? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no serenity. We actually arrived at 11.45 at the showground and at quarter past 12, our first signature Stampede fellow camper arrived. Yeah. Welcome to the Stampede. And you are? Ramesh Siva. Thanks, Sharon, for the invitation. How long have you had your van for? Oh, we've had it since August 2020. Oh, so. a long time. What have been, what's your favourite adventure? Uh, Mission Beach actually, up uh, near far north uh, Queensland, uh, that was really good. Oh, cool. Also last Christmas we went to Flinders Ranges and Ape Peninsula oh. and we had a great time there too. Can I crash? You certainly can. How are you doing? Good. So today is Friday. Last night we got four signature vans roll in. A three 13s, Iridium 13s and one Iridium 15. And it officially starts tomorrow morning, but I guess more people will come today. And it was a lovely night. We just sat around chatting. Who are you and where are you from? To Karen and we're from Avoca Beach on the Central Coast. Yeah, Andrew. And how long have you had your van? 18, uh, 18 months. months. Favourite thing about it? Everything. Yeah, everything? Well, everything. Well, yeah, the kitchen's great. Um, the inside, shower, toilet. Yeah. Favourite trip that you've had? Uh, out to Burke, Mount Gundabooka, um, in 
September last year. Where are you right. planning next? I'll be heading south down through Cancobin, uh, over and down into Victorian Highlands. We're going to try to make a little pack to get away at least once a month. That sounds yeah. good. They deserve to be trip. used. Oh, you got wise. no mods? Not really, Not really, except the drawer. Oh, you pulled the drawer. It's, big, it, it's, it's a lot of wasted space. Yeah, that so. works really well. And here's my partner in crime, and it's Glenn Turner. Hello, I'm Glenn, and thanks to this lovely lady holding the camera, we've got 22 yeah, I iridiums think so. and a couple of toy tufts. And I just want to thank everybody for coming along and enjoying it. And Favourite thing about your caravan? When it's cold, because I come from Orange, is the diesel heater. Oh yeah. <laughs> when it's not cold and it's hot, it's in here, this beautiful thing. It's not a modification of the dingle, but you can have ice cream. Ah. <laughs> On a nice hot day like this is, it's 32 odd degrees. It's always good to have an ice cream. Favourite trip. Oh, it wouldn't matter as long as my beloved Linda's with me and Monty she couldn't come for family reasons and I miss her so she should be here we miss you too Linda so yeah well it's about eight o'clock at night I think we're up to 22 vans who've arrived it's Friday night and the stampede officially starts tomorrow at on Saturday morning but it's been lots of fun already and people are sharing meals and pizza ovens and things like that so somebody's got a pizza oven they're teaching everybody how to make pizzas this man cooks the best pizzas on the what do you call it the baby Q the baby baby Q yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> ever everybody was eating them last night he made all the dough and everything from scratch it was very nice and the vans are starting from here and they this is one half of the camp and then on the other side of that tarp it goes double the length I'll show you and some people have done some amazing trips in their signature vans and gone around Australia numerous times and been to some amazing tracks and the modifications are incredible so I look forward to showing them all to you but this is cool and I'm going to sit down with a glass of red now and listen to all the stories well it's the first morning of the official stampede timeline I don't think that that really worked because we now have 20 vans and they're everywhere and we had a great night last night it was so funny it was hot during the day we were asking for people if they could please bring gazebos and then as soon as the sun went down it got so cold we ended up with what they call the pig isn't this a great little invention it's an old gas bottle and what they're going to do is put a plate on top of here and you'll be able to like boil the kettle on here and they've got a grate down here and they can cook on but it's just really good gives out so much heat everybody just sat in a big circle everybody was um, respectful and quiet as people started to go to bed which was nice and there's just fans everywhere some people it's their first trip themselves I'm Sandra Davidson and Wayne how are you doing good We've got our signature three weeks ago, so our, our favourite trip so far is to the Jugiong Stampede. <laughs> <laughs> this is a maiden shakedown voyage. It's going to be so hard to top. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We've, we've done mon one modification so far, let me show you this yeah. one, because our fridge, the breaker point on the fridge actually hits the bottom of the drawer, so I've actually drilled a hole in the drawer so it doesn't ah. keep hitting the breaker point. But Oh, that's interesting for people that are getting that in the same brand, fridge, yeah. 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 And we're off to Lightning Ridge in June and Northern Territory next year. Oh wow, that'll be excellent. Well, I found some newbies and here they are. Yeah, introduce yourself, guys. Hi, we're Robin and Hugh Dundas from Falkenbridge in the Lower Blue Mountains. And how long have you had your van? Uh, since December last year. This is our second time we've been out. And how have you found it with the pressure of the oldies watching you put set up? Oh, it's been really supportive, actually. It's been great. We've had a few problems and it was just really great that we've been able to go door knocking to get people to help. Favourite mod you've seen? That we've seen. We like the King's shade cloth on the side. Yeah. Um, so we might get one of those. Um, look, we've got a whole list. I've been writing them down <laughs> on my iPad. So 
some people have done laps and laps around Australia. Hello, who are you? Hi, we're Hector and Sarah, better known as uh, Team One Day, and here we are at Jugiong at the muster, and uh, we, uh, we've had a wonderful time. It's uh, done a bit of swimming in the river. We've uh, had a game of golf. We've spent some time at the pub, met some wonderful people, and uh, we've generally bonded over our love of these vehicles. How long have you had your van? Uh, we've probably had it about four years, three years or four years. It was one of the earlier 13s, but I, I guess the big thing, we actually lived in it for eight months and uh, we went out on a mission to do Australia's worst roads. It's been to Arnhem Land, it's been to Cape York, it's done the Gibb River Road, all those dreams. And we're back in it in May again to live for a year and go and pound the desert for a while and see if it can hold itself together. What's your favourite place to take the van to? Probably, I would have to say me personally, along that whole coast out of Exmouth and going along Ningaloo Reef and just camping on the beach and snorkeling every day. Shark Bay was wonderful, but Cape York's quite an experience as well. And favourite mod or thing that you've changed that would help somebody else know about? Look, I think the big thing is we haven't really modded anything, but you've got to protect everything from the rocks. You know, put pool noodles over your hoses and things like that, and just be constantly on it. Tire pressures, you've got to be on it as you'll shake it to death, and you've just got to look after it as you go along your car and your van. I've got to say, I actually disagree with Hector. That's not his best mod. His best mod is the sticker. Oh, the, the, the wall stickers. of fame. Yeah, <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> and I think that's the best decorating tip of all the vans. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Enjoy. John's having a great time because he can talk with anyone. So that's his favorite thing. He's not stuck talking to me. And it keeps going back. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Ross here from uh, Salamander Bay. Um, it's in uh, northern or central uh, New South Wales. Great day down here and I cannot get over the amount of people that have turned up. We got housed May last year and, and we bought house during COVID and I couldn't ask for a better van. Now have you used it much? We try to get away every weekend. This year's a big year because we're going up to the Cape. Oh my gosh, so I might tag along. <laughs> so that's going to be exciting. Yeah. That'll give it a workout. Oh, excellent. Yes, no. Good on you. Just saying, I'm not sure this fits in with the, the <laughs> lifestyle choices of an Iridium. <laughs> my name's Jason. I'm from Stanhope Gardens. And this is his better half. Yes. And this is little uh, Fast Eddie. He's our guard dog. And we're just relaxing on the lounge. Favourite trip you've ever done? Oh gosh, um, what do you reckon? Um, probably Mystery Bay. Yeah, Mystery Bay down at Naruma. It's oh, probably okay. a really good one. The hatch in the uh, tunnel boot and the bathroom is excellent. Have you put it in? Yes, we yeah, have. We have to. Yes. It is good, yeah, doesn't it? It, it is yeah. good. It's a good one. There's a few things we want to do. Main things, it's been testing out new products we've bought, um, the privacy screens and things. The golfers were back from golfing. The people were out of the river that had been riding the river up and down and we all got together and we had a group photo. I really lucked out because Andrew, one of the Toy Tough owners, is a photographer, like a real photographer, and he took the most amazing photo and we has let us use it. So here it is and I'd like you to meet Andrew. First Toy Tough person, and it's Andrew. And where Hello. are you from, Andrew? I'm from Griffith, New South Wales. Your favourite trip that you've done in the Toy Tough? Oh, well, I've only had it since last December, so I suppose Murdoford was probably the, the best overnight stay I've had in it. And his pressure, his main pressure of this whole weekend was putting the Toy Tough up, <laughs> and everybody <laughs> sat there and watched him do it. Is that right? Yeah, <laughs> I felt every eye in the back of my head when I was doing it. And we're all impressed. Yeah, no, it seemed to have gone up okay. It's a very nice... <laughs> the awning's gone up well, everything's... everything's it's my well. favourite, <laughs> if only I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well I better let you get on okay. and have a beer. Thank you.
So we made a little detour from the signature stampede and we're all up at the Sir George pub. They've been good enough to take a booking for 32 people. Some people had dinner here last night and didn't want to come for a second time. But everybody really wanted to come for a drink. And here we are, we've taken over the bar in the front and soon we're going to sit down at, in their beautiful courtyard and have a full meal. Well, all is quiet as the sun comes up. I have to say it wasn't quiet last night. The dinner at the pub was really great and then we all come back and sat around. I think people have been so generous letting other people into their vans to look at things like hatches and bins and lots of different adaptions for awnings and two vans have the the awning over the bed box. They don't want the rain hitting the bed box and having to listen to it when it's raining too hard. And they said it makes it a little bit cooler. What size Iridium have you got, guys? Uh, 15S. And who are you and where are you from? Rob McWalter and Leanne McWalter. From Vanilla, Victoria. How long have you had your van for? Five months. Five months? Yep. And where have you been? Um, this trip we went over Hotham, over to the coast to Painesville, down to Mallacoota and then up the New South Wales south coast as far as Bulleye. Nice. And then into Canberra for a couple of nights and here to Jugion. I'm just trying to think, there's so many. I like your husband's bin. <laughs> oh yes, the crop bin is very yeah. good, bin. yeah. yeah. And there's, everyone's got a little yeah. bit of something to add. Yeah, I love your light down there. That's I'm cool. Too. Yeah. Oh, we're Phil and Julie. We're from uh, Jerobomra, just out of Canberra. And we could only pop down for one night, but um, we got to meet everyone. It was great. And best mod or best thing? Uh, best mod was one I did last week. I actually added an extra waste to the shower because we had troubles with water not getting away. Yeah. Oh, I don't think you're the only person. <laughs> and uh, yeah, put another waste in it. It seems well. to work well. And, also put in a different kitchen sink tap. It's my favourite family member. <laughs> Just yeah. saying. Bye bye darling. Hello. <laughs> I think the general consensus is it would be lovely to have another one. And there's the elite sitting over there. The only elite to come. Found two legends. They're pretty newbies to the signature van and I'll let you tell them their quick little story. Heading off in June to Darwin, had to come down here and meet all these beautiful people and work out how this whole caravan works, all the different systems. And what are you doing on the way to Darwin? I am uh, work I work for um, Bears of Hope, Pregnancy and Infant Loss Support. I'm a counsellor, bereavement counsellor, and a presenter and I'm going to be speaking to hospitals about how we can support the uh, medical staff etc and also do counselling um, and uh, taking 10 drums with me, West African hand drums so I can have a therapeutic drum session with either the staff or bereaved parents. Going to photo log it as well because I'm also a photographic artist and so yeah looking forward to it. It's daunting and it's exciting. I don't know what pack up's gonna be like for everybody going. I think it'll be a bit sad. We've all kind of bonded a little bit and feel like long-term friends. So for now, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you on the other side.